Hello and welcome everyone to Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know what just exploded here, but um, I'm sure we're fine. Last time though, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous that something will attack us, but I think we're fine. Uh, we cleaned up the streets a little bit. We got a few fights. We took care of the Pachinko Parlor quest and also met with the Militech representative. Um, that went fairly well, and now we have to talk to Jackie. Let me hear what you squared away. Um, been waiting long? Been waiting long. Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... What's the word on T-Bug? T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. Okay. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Maelstrom, we gotta meet him. So Dex already paid the Maelstrom is for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Hmm. Oh yeah, we got the money from the Militech cred. Uh, we'll pay again, but Hello. with the Militech cred. Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. We'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Oh, uh, yeah. Onward. Let's go see these bastards. All right. Let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. All right. I hate these Borg fuckers. It's had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it. And what pisses them Good the thing that off. we found that uh, chart last time. You just never know. With the gang descriptions. Go on. Let them know we're here. Uh, good day, sir. Hello? <sighs> Don't know you. True. Dum dum. Just open the fuck up. Uh, Dex sent Wanna us. talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Okay. Ooh. Hey. Careful there. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Uh, okay, let's read it. 1,000 beats a second. I couldn't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought Jessica had changed them out for faulty Kiroshis while I was asleep. But no, that wouldn't have been like her. I blinked again. No change. There I saw them, clear as a day. The open flaps of Jason's chrome skull. I saw the electronic brain that, up until now, had been hidden by perfect imitation sin skin. The son of future tech CEO, the boy of my damn dreams, Jason. He was an android. Shit. I saw there's... Uh, I sat there stuck with a dumb expression on my face and Jason stared back with one of his own. I couldn't help but wonder now, were those beautiful blue eyes of his, the same that had pierced my soul, were they merely a mimicry controlled by some emo algorithm? Had, that, had there never been anything real between them all those times? Not once? Alex, I, it's not what you think, he pleaded with a... Strangely authentic note of panic in his voice. I wanted to believe him. I really did. Uh, well, clearly it hasn't been, I replied in equal parts anxious and bitter. Me and my rotten luck, the first and last guy I fall for, and he turns out to be a goddamn mother board on legs. No, that's not. Jason suddenly broke off and smiled awkwardly. Wait, did you, did you say fall for? My cardio implant began to beat more and more quickly. My face flushed. Had I been wrong? Could this body of bolts, wires, and plastic really contain whatever is left of the real Jason Cadales, or Cadales? If his father was able to design a synthetic heart for me, maybe he could do the same for his son's brain. The question is, why? 
That's very interesting. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Can cyberpsychosis be cured? So we heard about this uh, cyberpsychosis quite a bit as some kind of disease or kind of mental illness, but I'm not quite sure what exactly it is and how it manifests. Can cyberpsychosis be cured? Opinions on that questions are divided. Only a few years ago, so-called brain dance therapy was used across the entire country on a mass scale with the aim of bringing the sick back from the point of no return. The patient would be placed on a special chair and connected to a device that would deactivate all implants. Then electrodes would be attached, in inducing the patient into a coma-like brain dance session. This was then followed up by medicine, psychosurgery, and the aversion therapy. The overall treatment was intended to uh, sever all the patient's neural connection and tie them back together so that the cyber psycho could return to society. Once the therapy was concluded, no symptoms of cyber psychosis were detected as well as the patient's former personality. But don't worry, nowadays other methods are used. At least that's what they tell us. Okay, so they pretty much had to completely rewire the brain. Okay, some new pants. Not sure if we need pants, we could just schlong around. But probably at some point would get me blocked on YouTube, so let's not do that. 75 Years of Cyberware by Tsutomu Takahashi. Introduction. A century ago, losing a limb meant tragedy. It meant living with permanent disability, with severe reduced physical capability, and often with chronic pain. What's more, people with disabilities frequently suffered from widespread discrimination, both active, e.g. employment bias, and passive or unconscious, e.g. poor infrastructural inaccessibility. Today, assuming the uh, dismemberment victim is financially stable, loss of limb amounts a little more than a minor inconvenience. A century ago, employers could impose specific dress codes, hairstyles, regulation and piercing and tattoo bans. Many even pressed their employees to maximize productivity, often in violation of the law, such as through anti-pregnancy policies. At the time, however, deeper involvement with the employees' bodies was simply impossible, legal and or otherwise. But with the advent of cyberware, employers in the second half of the 20th century, 21st century have imposed requirements for skin, bone, muscle, organ and eye replacement in order to improve performance and workplace effectiveness. In extreme cases, security sector employees are commonly urged to undergo so-called full-body conversions or full cyborgization. Much has changed over the past 75 years from the cybernetic implants first hit the mass market. Many in the field of history of technology have argued cyberware is a positive force for progress, and many have argued the opposite. This book attempts to describe and contextualize the changes, for better or worse, that is, has introduced to our professional and personal lives. How has cyberware led to us to where we are today, and where is it taking us next? So that's very interesting. So apparently, employees are forced to undergo certain procedures to improve productivity. And we heard a lot of kind of the uh, corporate tactics of 80 hour work weeks and all that. What? Anti personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. So oh boy. What's up? Uh, shards here. Can cyberpsychosis be. Oh, that's the same. Okay, so you find sometimes the same thing. I just have to remember which ones I already read. Because I do want to go through them and read them. I hope it's not too boring to you, but I feel like it gives a lot of context to the world. You ready, Becky? Becky boy? Okay.
all foods the future of meat not only are all foods products healthy and nutritious they will feed our future soon all foods will launch a pilot line of new products to complement the easy beef brand this series of meat products will be based on flat worm cultures which have been found to significantly help increase metabolism slow weight gain and cleanse the intestinal tract we hope that flat worm initiative will Usher in All Foods' latest successful generation of meat products. Okay, let's stay cool, everyone. I like that he has a machete on his back. The Solo's Manual by Morgan Blackhand. Think you've got what it takes to be a legendary solo, huh? Sure you do, otherwise why pick up this book? So you're looking for respect, for fear, for a way to be on top. Maybe you heard someone quote me about uh, winning battles with only a glance before a single shot's been fired. Well fine, I'll let you in on a secret. It is possible, you can do it too. But only if you got the guts to survive going to hell and back more times than you can count. Thousands of fights, millions of bullets, hundreds of gallons of blood, yours included. That's what you have to look forward to. And you'll need a, a solid ripper. One you can trust. One you make a lifelong jumbatos out of. One who tells you every week it's a miracle you ain't dead by now. At least that's what he'll say if you're lucky. Nowadays, every kid with big iron, a sin, sin leather coat and micro missile launcher thinks they're a hotshot solo but you know what just because you killed a few goons with a smile on your lips don't make you one anyone can kill i knew this rocker boy once who blew up a whole fucking platoon of corporal trash did that make him a solo no it made him dead so still so still think you got what it takes to carve your name into solo history good then this book's for you so i think solos i'm not quite sure what they are but Almost sounds like a special merc unit of sorts. Here we go. Oh, I can chill, V. Remember, we're on their turf. I'm chill. So what oh. do you want? Well, that's dumb dumb. Uh, where's Roy? Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT zero D one two, called the Flathead. And the hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. Lovely name. So the male strippers are very heavily. Modified, right? Come on. Let's sit down. Have a check with Dum Dum. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Jack, Make please sit down. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your hey, skull. Hey, Jack, sit down. We're on their turf this ain't here. Well, but shit. Well, all right. Come on, got to lighten up. Take a hit. Oh, let's go with our street kick knowledge. What you blowing? Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Ups dwarfs and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip so intense it verges on psychosis. Corpse fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! Uh, I'll pass. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight edged princess. Thanks. Forgot my tiara, but 
Can we please talk business? Here we go. A flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech not gonna come for uh, looking Militech's for it? not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift access locks using our soft. Okay. What's yours, it's yours. Show it to me. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Looks pretty good. Oh, we don't have enough of that. Well, let's play it cool. We'll have to do. We'll have to do. <laughs> Look at that. Pick it, little fucker. We are. That's your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Whoa. Brick got it. Uh. Whoa. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Asked you a question. Uh, Asked you a fuck break then. Let's cut a new deal. Get uh, the extra credit from Militech. Good business sense. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. I'm talking to you. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that! Without that in a fucking eye! <laughs> Wanted or not? Wanted or not, I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's it. Dexter Deshaun! The Lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Me here, you dead? No. He's alive. Ooh. Well, again. <laughs> he sends his regards. So you gonna consider my offer now? Ooh, I like it. <laughs> you short, sir. Here's the crib. Hell. I'll even toss you some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred chip was spiked with a virus. Don't worry. I wiped it. Ooh, that Check. was intense. What's the flat out? Clean. Ah, happy now. That got intense really quick. That rusty cunt. Now I gotta deal with this shit. So, got a deal? You just take the damn bot and get the fuck out of my factory. All right. That's what we came for. If this is a trick, I'm going to introduce you to our meat grinder. That's Got fine. what we came for. Nova, so now just here for business. Hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Good one. Shit. Let's go. What the what? Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go. Militech couldn't manage it on the slide with the chips. They rolled in the big guns. More their fucking so. style, I'd say. We'll write the production line. Flip it on. 
Okay. Let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? How long are you gonna make me wait? Well, I'm not good at jumping. Hey, Doodom, or whatever your name is. Are you even helping us? There's dumb dumb. You fucking go. Militech dogs. Come on one more time. For Christ's sake, let up. Whoa. Focus. That wet job has got no chance. I'm only gonna make you wait. I think we can sneak our way around here. Is he just walking? God damn it. Here we go. Jackie Wells. Good. Whoa! What happened there? Hang on! Reloaded! Got him! Ooh, this weapon is good. Not bad! I guess that. Woohoo! Let's go. Can we open this? Away from this laser. I'm ground beef. Mm. It's late. His arm. Oh my god. So like Ooh. a fucking eternity Looking a little like we might save your skin. Yeah. I think I'm we'll do it, babe. Boys did this. Jesus. Twist. Fuck. Okay. What do we do now? We Come with us? Okay. Come. Go, go, go! Smart. Sure, you manage all right. Let's go. This is mine. Oh, I'm on fire. What's this now? Ugh. The Psychos of Maxtag. If a psycho killer. Psychotic killer is prowling the streets that are supposed to defend us. If your average Joe Blow goes ballistic in the cubicle, they're supposed to back him and drop him off at the psych unit. They're supposed to make us feel safe in a world of madness. But be honest with yourself. Have you ever really felt safe in the presence of a max stack? What the main mainstream media won't, won't tell you is that 19, 90% of max tech interventions and in the killing of the cyber psycho and if you confront anyone about it the official word is they only take life when absolutely necessary but don't buy into their bullshit for them the kill is a must to keep bystanders happy with a display of bloodshed bloodstained justice and if it was a few civilians die tough uh, they'd say it's just a necessary evil for the greater good only who's good exactly i witnessed one of these interventions firsthand the cyber psycho stormed into a mall armed to the teeth and shot seven people before slipping into a detached state of calm mumbling god knows what to himself max Tech arrived after a few minutes and immediately opened fire the gunfire jolted the psycho back into a frenzy by the time max Tech secured the area 25 people had died what a heroic success huh 
We waited for a bottom line. Here it is. All MacTex members used to be cyber psychos themselves. Every single one. The same people who butchered innocents on the street just a month, a month, a week, a day earlier, and now our knights in shining armor. Is it any surprise nearly each of their intervention ends in unavoidable massacre? Just a funny coincidence, you tell me. Interesting. That's spicy. Got him. One fucker left. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. That's not good. Let's go with our SMG here. Pick up some stuff. Got some mods there. Whoa. Let's go. Up there. Woo. The combat feels so good. It's intense. And the music. Got him. Nice shot. Let's go. Another one. Buddhism and cyberware perspective interview. For most of us, the percept, uh, precepts of Buddhism seem baffling to say the least. How would you explain to the average night citizen why Biku? such as yourself are against implementing cybernetic technology into their bodies monk it's not that we are against them per se every person has the right to make choices with their body so long as they those choose don't harm those choices don't harm other though biku do abide by stricter rules such as abstaining from cyberware in order to achieve enlightenment interview then what does your hesitation stem from how do cybernetics affect your pursuit of enlightenment well among other things, it's their vague fluid status, for lack of a better word. Ask yourself, what is an implant? Part of your body? And personal, an impersonal object? You're asking me? Uh, suppose I'd say it depends. We can limit uh, their possession to a rope, umbrella, and a bowl for arms. Everything else is a distraction that hinders his or her release from the world's suffering. Let's say, for example, that a synthetic hand is just that, a hand part of your body but if it has a watch installed in it a, a blade right i think i understand but the line line strong isn't completely clear possession especially such uh, intimate ones are a distraction that muddy the mind that pull it further from inner peace i believe the phenomenon of cyber psychosis is proof enough of this truth we learned a lot of sci uh, about cyber psychosis here also interesting that there's still religion around Neutralize him. Oh. Whoa. Can we do something here? Go, go, go. What are we doing? Uh, oh. What's this? Local network. Do anything? Oh, I could. I see. But I think they're already dead, so don't have to worry about that. Equipping combat gadgets. Assign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make it easy. Okay. Go, go, go! Oh. He's just jumping in there. I want to shoot him. 
exactly that way. Lots of stuff. Explosives, health, ammo. No, I'm fucking happy. It's almost contagious. We gotta help her. I don't know. Your call, Carmen. I know. How do? What's going on? Where are we? Where do we have to go? I can't open that one. I'm gonna continue. Why are you guys fighting? He's just chilling here. Okay. Oh, he had a burrito. You know who you're messing with? Oh, this is the one. Whoa! That is a big boy. Oh, that's not good. How am I supposed to kill that thing? Can I? What, what happens if I ping it? I need something. How am I supposed to feed them? Is there like a control panel or so? Jeez. This seems intense. How am I supposed to defeat them? Oh, is that a friendly one there? Oh, wow. I was able to breach protocol there somewhere. There. Okay, uh, camera shutter, ice pick reduces quick hack, deactivates all camera. 55 of BD. Okay, um. No, E9. No. Shame to smash your pretty face! How am I supposed to beat that thing? They have like different kinds of. Okay, what do we have here? Frag grenade. Biohazard grenade. Ashburn grenade. EMP grenade. That might be helpful against the map. Oh, I think we're doing a thing. That is good. Boom. Come on, show yourself. No, I blow the shark. What's it? Got him. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Huh? Let's no. loot and get out of here. Wanted to let you know I like his style. Thank you. Oh, dum dum. Yeah. Jesus, that Mac was insane.
rare components. That's good. Just look around for a second. See if we can. We have some ammo again. That's good. Okay, where, where's where's Thumbna? Hey, there you are. Your Eski? Let's say I like that you got good taste. Go nice. on, it's yours. It's nice. A nice guy, Dum Dum. Power light I don't machine need that gun. guy. Oh, let's leave. Enough of this place. Ooh, that got intense. The combat okay. feels so intense. Let's get out of here. But I like that. Militech. Oh. They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Uh oh. Past the gate. We can talk there. Wait! Enemy contact! Hold He's your coming fire. for me. I'd like a word with them. Okay. You shot at my people. Oh. You know, Gilchrist, right? Gilchrist, still alive, and not hogtied for a change. Have a good memory for names, but that's nowhere near enough when Militech personnel get shot up. Well, you guys shot first. They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. A rather unexpected rescue. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. When you don't know what to do, why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? I mean, Maelstrom was great. What happened to Stout? What happened to Stout? She placed some bad bets. Her clock ran out. Simple as that. Suffice to say, you won't be seeing her again. Oh, interesting. What do you want? And you? Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Jesus, Jackie, let's get out of here. Holy shit, V. Yeah. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. All right. We make a good pair. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Well, that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex. Let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. How you luego, V? Hi, luego. Oh, boy. How things looking, Mr. V? Hey. Ah, we got, got the, the flat hat. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, oh. of course it was trouble. Hey, voice couldn't Whoa, give two shits Jackie. and brick it shaking on. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Mr. V. Thank you. Oh, everything ready to roll. What now? We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that bio chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. All right, Dax. Jesus. Ugh, that was intense. <laughs> oh boy, I think we have to check our inventory. I picked up a bunch of stuff again. This, this time I uh, paid attention to what I picked up. I just it was a little bit busy. Not sure if you noticed. Mm. Got a bunch of machine guns. This one is the same, but just a little more damage. So push this one out. 
about a hand gun. I think better there. No. Also pick up some kind of a mod. Just don't guess not for anything that we have right now. I think ooh, we could Akaioni tit titanium boot knit menpo. Increases armor by five. Let's see. Ooh. It does look pretty pretty dope. Sports sunglasses. Oh, those look very Deus Ex, right? I think I'll go with that. I mean, this is obviously better, but... I wish they had the the option to... That you have in a lot of games where you can equip something, but it doesn't... But you can select what, what kind of equipment you want to be shown. We can fashion or play the fashion game a little bit more but I guess that's fine okay we also got one attribute point and one perk point to spend I feel like I'm just not using the intelligence thing good enough uh, maybe you have some advice for me would love that oops Would like to go a little further into body a bit. I feel like for now we're we're using mostly our um our handguns and kind of just get into straight up firefights. Five plus meters away. That's pretty good. I like to stay on distance. And where do we have to go now? So we have to go to the afterlife. That's pretty far away. But that's not a bad thing. It just means that there's a ripper dock. How much money do we have? 10,000. Food. Danger high. Side job. What does what does our journal say? Before we pick up anything new, maybe we have something. Get in full. Pay off your debt with Victor. We don't have the money for now. For the lockdown to end, so we don't really have anything going, very other than two very high uh, options. So let's see. We could. That's a danger high one. This is moderate. So maybe we'll just go there, see what this quest is about. Um, maybe find out more about it. And see how it goes from there. Okay. That katana was pretty useful. Okay. Again, I could get my car, but I kind of enjoy just taking the city in and full. Just taking my time with it. Alright. Would I survive that? <laughs> I doubt. So far, we haven't died, so. I may jinx it now, but... Let me jump over here. Oh. Do this. Ouch. Yeah, that hurt a little bit, but not too bad.
What does ping do that? Pings the target network to reveal all people and devices connected to it. Efficient RAM. Oh, we don't have enough RAM. We really have to... I see. That is really what... Should I get involved here? What? Matic. Bounty class. That is not great on distance. Whoa, 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 whoa. It set me on fire. a nice grenade. Definitely have better aim than I have. One good shot and we're done. I need to get down here. Oh, that was not a great idea. That was a little higher than I thought. that go. A little bit awkward, but we got a thing done. Shotgun. Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock the full potential of the targeting system. To install one, be sure to visit your trusty Ripper dog. Very interesting. So you can connect them. That improves their quality. That's pretty cool. That's it. <laughs> oh. What you talking about, buddy? You in, you in the trash? Ah! <clears throat> it scared me. <laughs> ah, yeah, let's... Let's leave. Hey, what's this? Skill shard annihilation. Oh, progression shard. Interesting. We got an attribute point. Oh, that increased annihilation to two.
chop gun light machine guns do more damage. I see. Interesting. How do we increase our ram bell? Rabadek ram capacity divided by 4%. Okay, let's do that. Maybe let's go further into this a little bit. Okay. Electric baton, knife, archive conversation, Zaya and Pete. Fix the turret. Seriously? Seriously. Replace the capacitors, ferret core, quartz resonators, and voila. Fortunately, it's not all the way there yet. Still the safeguards left to bypass. Could you give me a little hint? Remember you did something like this once? Right, yeah. After reset, hold the button on the left side of the panel for five seconds. Then on the command input enter could user slash add admin equals yes. To be honest, that's it. Should be up and running. Nova, huge. Thanks, man. Ah, wait, Isaiah. Big goof on my part there. You need to tag active yes or uh, equals yes after the end of that command, or else it'll still read you as hostile. Hope I didn't catch. Oh, oh. Let's get a pizza. Well, I think. I think that didn't go well for him. Poor guy. Zero dollars. Nice. I'll definitely need that after I. Recklessly jump down. But that's just what the cool guys do, you know? Uh, okay, how do we get out of here? This. Okay. He's just yelling out of his trash can. How do I get out of here the quickest? Oh, there's a staircase. That'll help. Alrighty. That intense music about. I think it's about that there there's still like an active assault going on. But can't get involved into everything. Where do we go now? Or like how do I get there I should say? Okay. Probably should also stop by at one of those like, selling places. What's going on here? Slow down a little bit. Seems to be up there. What? V, got a simple clean cut gig. Need you to zero someone who's been extorting regular hard-working folks. Our public enemy's name is Blake, and he is one slippery motherfucker. More okay. info on him and his MO attached. Okay, Regina. Who do we have? Racketeering... Uh, Racketeering's the name of the game in Kabuki. The badges pretend like they don't see when uh, hustlers like Blake reel in the next victim. The script's always the same. Act 1, promising money deal. Act 2, an, an, an unpayable debt. The sucker this time was Roger Wang, store chain owner. Blake's already seized ownership of one of the stores, but has bigger plans, like I said. Like I said, this kind of debt's unpayable. So Wang got wise and paid us instead. This human shit stain croil is about to disappear. So the time to act is now. And one more thing. Blake's got hustle... Uh, from the animals watching his back. Great. Is that what we're doing here? Wait. What? 
Where is that? Are we here or not? Item 4. No. The gig. No. Chalk on the water. That's the one. Track. I guess it is here, right? What do we have here? Connect. Uh, data mine. Oh, it's just cash. Don't have to do that right now. Let's see, let's see if we can do something sneaky for once. Quick hack? Mark him. Hmm. I don't see anyone else there, which kind of concerns me. There's clearly not just one guy. Yeah, let's... or actually... Oh. Sleep. Hot dog. Oh, there's some cameras up there. And have a visual on them. Oh, not the crate. Okay, a little bit of an awkward situation here. The doors.
I want to focus on that guy in there. Okay. But once we do something sneaky, that actually works. Ooh, I'm overburdened for the first time. Let's still take the dildo. And the document. Weapon piercing. Oh, we have a piercing weapon. What's this? Night City Nightlife. Drinks, dancing, debauchery. If you're a dance head, like, dance head like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. You'll find no better brain dance club in the city, no matter how deep you dig. Modern boxes, solid tech, but most importantly, the catalog. Truck full of nearly any experience you imagine. Oh, we already read that one. I need to get rid of some stuff. Check it out in a second. Stressful. Definitely need that. Very stressed. Okay. I said before that I should probably drop some stuff, but... Ooh. Shock baton. Actually better. Actually, go for a knife. I do like a traditional knife. And I'm still slightly over the limit. This gun is better too. Let's get rid of the mod then. E9. Power. Power. Like that one. On the scope. And let's oh uh, let's drop this one. Um submachine gun, do we have something better? An assault rifle. So we hold off on that. So, but shouldn't, I don't know, I'm a little bit confused in terms of what we're supposed to do here. I thought this was part of the mission. Or the gig that we just got. We read the one about pain editors. The guy. I'm looking at this. We go. Ben Azaria and Sasquatch. Where's Blake? Hey. Clean out this area, but what? <laughs> am I missing something? A gig, gig shock of the water, back objective, map. Hmm. Either there's something bug, bugged or just missing something. Both could be very much the case. Let's go to, to the drop point, get rid of some stuff so we don't have to worry about the inventory anymore. It was pretty nice to 
actually tried some stealth uh, though. So far, I haven't been really successful with it. So, oh, we'll pick up. Hey. I have to say, generally speaking, the frame rate is not that bad. I heard way worse um, reports about it. Frame rate is actually pretty good. There are here, here there's some hiccups. It's just. The biggest issue really is kind of the, the textures that they reduced in quality in order to, uh, what is that? It looks special, the dying, dying light one. Money. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel. Not the one that we have equipped. Okay. Shotgun. Okay. Now our inventory looks way better again. Don't think we will go into like big machine guns. Really? Tech revolver. Now that is more interesting. Full potential potential unlocked at six though. I don't know if we have something for that. Uh, those are the get rid of the shock baton. I kind of would like to keep this one because this seems to be somewhat special item. Um I haven't really checked if, yeah, could probably equip that one. I need to check whether or not I want to put any of that on. If we see anything new here, why is there always a one? I can't select things. Maybe because I was too close there. Oh, now it works. Don't want to wear a cap though, because I want to see my hair. Sticking with the sunglasses. So there we all we wear the do the best one possible. Both in terms of looks. Okay, this could both be an option. Let's see. Okay. I think that's kind of fitting for us. Check out the other one, just in case. Yeah, I kind of like the, uh, I like the skinny one. Yeah, that works well. Uh... That's a little. Uh, not a big fan of those. Oh, these one. Okay. Now, get rid of some stuff. Should have done that before checking. This took some unnecessary time. Um. Wait, why did I pick the bad ones? Ah. Uh, I'm not a smart man. Yeah, these are better. What? Better stats and better looks. So now, sell these one. Uh, yeah, I think these can all go. Jacket, I might have to check out. We keep our favorite shirt because it's our favorite shirt, obviously. But that's that, and then we can sell all junk. Oof, two thousand worth of junk. That's a lot. 
Okay, let's see how it looks. Actually, doesn't look too bad, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, and we have a level up. Didn't know this. Okay. Let's see, can we get a, something cool? Advanced data mine. Increases the amount of euro dollars acquired from access point by 50%. That is actually quite a good way of getting money, I noticed. Do you want to get better at the quick hacking, though? Uh, quick hacks deal 10% more damage. Ram to recover during combat. I made it a target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers. Okay, allow us Ram to recover during combat. I think that sounds good. Let's get that one. Oh, whoop. Level up. Oh, I'm right, I forgot to do this. Hmm. I think I will mostly focus on reflexes, cool, and intelligence. Um, question though, I, I can have a little bit more health would be nice, some options there. Let's go one into body. Right. Now, let's look at the map. We have to, let's select this one, it's still a long way, but... Oh, it's close to our apartment. Hey, what is this? Let's check out the fixer. This city is both beautiful and ugly at the same time. Oh, trash and misery, darkness everywhere. It also has a fascinating beauty to it. I do want to stop by at my apartment as well. Just kind of see if there are any updates or anything. If I can do anything there. Obviously, we're st I mean, in a massive game like this, like we're still in the phase where we're kind of checking things out. Who's that? Can we open the double doors? Oh, there, there's a button. I wanted to shoot them, but I guess we can also just use the door normally. <laughs> Going up. Oh, oh, it's where G Regina lives. Oh, it's quite the music. Oh, that's amazing. That 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 is uh, where she lives. Kind of auto focuses a little bit on that one. On the turret. I think it's cool that she actually has some turrets that she <laughs> protects herself with. Makes sense. The dangerous life here. Oh, there she is. This would be a journalist. Used to be a media, didn't you? Not hard to guess, but I'll give you a point for All right, we read that in her profile. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon, V. I just traded in for a larger caliber. Tell me about Watson. How'd you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese lived there mostly. 
North side used to be plated in chrome. Now it's covered in rust. We have an entire aquarium full of corpos, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough. That's Watson. Okay. Take a picture of her. Maybe not when she's looking away. Please, how rude. It's better. With, maybe like with the city in the background. It looks nice. That will be today's thumbnail. And look forward to that. Or well, you've probably already seen that if you clicked on the video. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> All right. I think that is also a good time to take a break and then next time we will make our way to the afterlife and uh, hopefully not in the way that we die but in the way that we visit the club and there we will talk to Dexter I assume plan uh, our little heist even further and maybe on the way we will uh, find some other stuff I really enjoy this game this is amazing um, I, I had a little bit of trouble getting into the game, into the world, because I think I was a little bit overwhelmed with all the possibilities and um, everything involved with like just getting familiar with the world. But and now that I'm getting a better grasp on it, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, and I am hooked. But that will be it for today. We will continue very soon thank you all for watching if you enjoyed it please give the video a like maybe consider subscribing to the channel share the video with friends family and the people on the internet that all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future if you want to go above and beyond in your support you can check out the patreon link down below and i will be back with more cyberpunk 2077 very soon until then have a great time